Hello and welcome to my corner of the internet. My name is Katie and this is my YouTube channel, Something by Katie. The lighting is slightly golden hour right now um, and that's okay. I love it when the light comes in like that on like part of the eye. So we're rolling with it. But today I wanted to share a few looks with a palette that I actually got a few couple of months ago at this point. I had intended to film this much sooner, but you know, life happened and I hadn't gotten to it, but I have really been loving and enjoying this palette. So I still wanted to film uh, multiple looks with one palette and that palette is the Melt Cosmetics Amor y Mariposas palette. I've used every shade in this palette so far. And I wanted to share the looks I created, including one on my eyes right now. I love this palette. I'm a big fan of Milk Cosmetics in general. I wasn't going to buy this palette and then I had to <laughs> because I'm such a big Milk fan. I needed a big palette from them. Needed. You know what I mean. I really wanted a big palette like this um, from them, especially with this green row. I really love. Um, it's nice that there is like a more neutral row and then all oh, these brights. They're beautiful and bright and delicious. So I want to show you some looks that I created as well as at the end, I'm going to insert a review with some swatch comparisons to other Melt palettes that I own. Because I do own, like for example, uh, I don't know if they're going to be able to dupe each other, but I do own the Smoke Sessions palette from Melt. And these couple of shimmer shades uh, look similar to a couple of the shades in that palette. Not identical, but they could be close. And I just want to look at my other palettes from Melt and see how these compare and share, like I said, my some looks I've created with this palette and just share my thoughts generally. So if that sounds like something you're into, keep watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're new here, maybe hit the thumbs up. That way YouTube knows that you liked my video and I can know that you liked my video. Um, but yeah, just keep watching.
All right, there is another look at the Amor y Mariposas palette. And as I zoom out, you'll be able to see that I have several other Melt palettes. I own the 27 palette, the Gemini palette, the Blueprint palette, Smoke Sessions, and the recently deceased um, Beetlejuice palette. Uh, I really don't think there's going to be any similarities in the Gemini palette at all. Those don't look similar whatsoever. Uh, there may perhaps be similarities between this shade and like that shade, maybe. Um, maybe that shade and that shade. Um, but I, so maybe some in the 27 palette. The Blueprint palette, I don't think there are any similarities. Perhaps this bronze shade Hotwire might be similar to Mesquite. We'll see. Uh, this is the Smoke Sessions palette. Uh, doesn't look like exact dupes, but this shade might be close to that shade. And that one might be close to Sweet Tooth. We'll see. And then in here, I think that none of the green shades look similar, but um, this Lost Souls purple shade might be close to Noob or Nube, but I don't think it looks like identical by any means. So I'm gonna do some swatching and we're gonna see about it, but these definitely look like some very unique shades to my collection anyway. Alrighty, I did some swatch comparisons here on my arm. I compared the bronze shade on the furthest to the the furthest left shade the first shade here is mesquite from the amor y mariposas palette i compared that to hot wire from the blueprint palette you can see those bronze shades are not the same the hot wire shade is certainly deeper and more like coppery and also the mesquite shade is more foiled the purple shade on the left, furthest to the left right there now, is the shade um, Maria from the Amori Mariposas palette. And you can see it's nothing like Moonchild from the 27 palette. Here um, furthest to the left now is the shade Silito Lindo from Amor y Mariposas. It is compared next to Blue Dream from smoke sessions and they're really not the same and then now i'm showing you mohican from amori mariposas next to sweet tooth from the smoke sessions palette again really not the same also the textures of the shimmers vary throughout the different palettes um in general the ones from Amor y Mariposas appear to be a bit more foiled. And then here on the left, this is the shade Nube from Amor y Mariposas. And the one next to it is Lost Souls from the recently deceased palette. The Amor y Mariposas shade is deeper. And the one from Lost Souls from the recently deceased palette is more blue based and brighter. And then down here, these are literally nothing alike. This is the shade Nueva Vida from Amori Mariposas. And then I put it next to the shade Downtown in the 27 palette. Really not the same. So this was a fabulous addition to my collection. No repeats. Woohoo! I hope you enjoyed seeing the looks that I made with the this palette and uh, the swatch comparisons. I personally find those to be helpful when I am looking across brands. And I just realized I forgot one of my Melt palettes in that. There are definitely no dupes in this, but I also own the Mary Jane palette. I knew I was forgetting one. Uh, this is a gorgeous palette, no dupes in this one though. I can't believe I forgot that, whatever. Okay, so my thoughts. First of all, just look at this. The artwork is positively stunning. There are, it's a heart with 
you know, amor y mariposas. Mariposas are butterflies. The, there are butterflies. There are um, hummingbirds right here. Throughout, this artwork is just stunning. You can see that su the packaging is raised up. It's so beautiful. And the, the butterflies continue to the back. I love this. There's a really nice mirror. Hello. Um, and it's surrounded by the butterflies. It's really beautiful. And then we have, of course, the stunning shades. Like I said, I've used every shade in here. It's the good melt formula that I know and love. I really, really enjoy this palette. In particular, the, um, obviously I love all of the mattes. The mattes are my favorite from Melt. And I would say in particular, the shimmer shades, this one, this one, that one, they are very foiled and metallic. Um, so is Celito Lindo. Um, these are pretty. Mariposa and Mohican. They're very pretty, but uh, they're not quite as foiled. Um, they're, they're nice, though. I really cannot complain. I really enjoy this palette. I also really... Um, this shade Mariposas is so vibrant. Look at that. It's a really vibrant orange shimmer. I don't own anything like this across my collection so I really do appreciate that. I really like the vibrancy of like Nube, Abuelita, Perla. Beautifully bright and just so saturated on um, the eyelid. It's, it's a great um, formulation and it's just a beautifully done collection. I mean I guess this is the only thing I have in the collection but Overall, the whole collection was beautiful. There was like a brush kit and a blush palette. I did not opt to get those because this palette is expensive. This was like $70. And depending on how you feel about spending money on makeup, that's a lot. I mean, it's a lot for someone who loves makeup like me. Um, but I personally, I love Melt. They're one of my absolute favorite brands. I know their eyeshadow quality pretty well, and I felt pretty confident getting this palette and spending the money, and I am here to report that it was worth it for me. Uh, if you love the color story and you're wanting to experiment with more colors, I just love this palette. Uh, specifically, one of my favorite things about this palette is I love the depth because you have depth, but not in like traditional color ways. So typically in a colorful palette, like a lot of brands will just throw in like a deep brown or a black shade, but here you have a deep green, a deep reddish brown, a deep, deep wine shade. And like down here, this is like a, purplish, deep purple shade, and deep reds. Like, it, it's just, it's not typical. And, like, this middle row, or this second row here that is more neutral, so to speak, like, you can deepen it all up, but it's not with a brown. It's with uh, color. And for me and my taste in makeup, this is great. I, I love it. I love the, the uniqueness. I will say the um, shimmer shades, like I mentioned, that a couple of them are more foiled than others, but they're, they're single tone shimmers. There are no duochromes, no like special shades per se, and I'm okay with that, but if you're not, it's something to consider. I really prefer that this is a more matte heavy palette in the way that I do my makeup and like to play with eyeshadows. I just am in love with this palette. Like I said, I've had it for, I think, two months at this point, going on three. I don't really remember exactly when I got it, but I have played with it a lot. I You'll see the looks that I wore, or the looks I created for this video, 
but I'll pop in some photos of other times I used this eyeshadow palette and I didn't film it, but I did take pictures because I really liked how the looks turned out. I wore this palette for Christmas and on Christmas Eve and it was just beautiful. I just, I really enjoy this palette. So I definitely recommend it if you're in the market. Honestly, I don't even know if it's available. I should, I should have thought of that. But regardless, if you can get your hands on this and you're into it, go for it because it is fabulous. I also want to point out that on my lips, I am wearing my little ultra matte melt lipstick sample size guy. It's so tiny and cute. This is the shade Frisky and I love it. It's so cute. <laughs> but anyway, I, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed the looks and hearing my thoughts on this palette after I've gotten quite a bit of time to use it and um, experiment with it and play around with different looks and also the swatch comparisons. Like I said, I try to do that in every video I make with a new melt palette, a new to my collection melt palette. Um, and this was no different. So if you enjoyed, again, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. That way I know you liked it and maybe leave a comment down below. Did you get this palette? Have you had fun with it? What's your experience with this palette? Again, hope you enjoyed this video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.